we finally see Liberty make it to the top 25. We finally see it happen, and that's all due to a pretty interesting and a pretty big-time goal line stop against Arkansas to win against the Razorbacks 21-19. It was stated that Hugh Freeze said it might be his biggest win of his career. That's saying a lot based on his career. And Arkansas Sam Pittman said he knows it's his worst loss of his career. I will say this, Arkansas could be in the mind of maybe some our Auburn folks, as Brian Harson couldn't get the job done against Arkansas, but a potential candidate for the job in Auburn could get it done with the Liberty Flames. This was a really good game between Arkansas and Liberty, and we finally got to see on a stage with Hugh Freeze against the SEC, uh, a conference that he knows very well and might know very well in the future. His name is going to be swirling around, especially now after this win against Arkansas. Liberty's finally on the map where they deserve to be. What was your thoughts on this game and your thoughts about Hugh Freeze and this Liberty squad? Well, I think Liberty did a great job of not letting the moment dictate how they played the football game. Another team that stuck to its guns, did what's best. Um, I don't think they looked very tentative to me. Now, I watched the game in a condensed version under, you know, uh, as a replay, but they seemed very confident. They didn't really seem getting rattled. I mean, and and that comes from their coach on down, but for them to have that big defensive stand that now also puts something in the mind of the committee, forget about the AP vote, because that's just sometimes sports information directors do the voting and it, it just, a a convoluted mess, yeah. but now in the committee's mind, they're looking and saying, wow, okay, th- this team isn't just a fluke. I mean, the BYU win was impressive on the scoreboard. It probably meant more to the student bodies of the two schools and to the alumni of the bo- of both schools because of their faith-based mission which really drives the program and drives the university, everything in life on the, you know, on the campuses. But this was okay. This is no joke. You know, we really have to take a look at these guys and I I will be interested to see what kind of bowl game are they going to get in the college football playoff? No, they're not. No, As, as much as I love to watch them play and I love to watch how they play. They are not that caliber of team. But I, I think that they have proven, especially if they win out, that they are deserving of a major bowl invitation. Right. You know, it's six implications if they finish 11 and one, which if you look at the rest of their schedule, they go to, they go to UConn this week, who have been pretty decent this year, but I don't see them be able to run with Liberty. Then go to Virginia Tech, who have been abysmal this abysmal. year. Yeah. And, and then they finish the season against New Mexico State, who really hasn't been a great year or, or game or great team all year as well. Uh, this team can easily go 11 and 1. And Hugh Freeze, they did, he just signed an extension. Does he stay? Does he go? Could that, that have been just an extension to make sure that Liberty has a nice buyout money bag for the program? Because we've seen that in the past where coaches will sign extensions. So when they do get bought out, it helps the program build. We've seen that happen. Hugh yes. Face could have just done that, knowing that he's probably going to get offered by certain people. Maybe a little birdie told him on the side. However, or does he stay around? You said that there might be a possibility of him becoming one of those coaches that stick into the group of five. Um, and this, and this, I just don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I can see this team as an 11 and one squad. I can see them getting invited to an NY six bowl, or at least being in one of those nice bowls we see towards the end of the year. And it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. You, they play UConn. They're currently a 14 and a half point favorite. And I can see that happening for sure. Mm Mm-hmm. 